My friend, thank you so that much. That was a so good hour. Thank thank good morning, everybody. We had so much fun. Guy Ovan's in the kitchen coming up next. Hi, Guy. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm going to be with you for the next three hours. We have a great show to start you out with. It's called Kitchen Essentials. We've got lots of great items, great pricing on those items, uh, and lots of really good deals for you. Uh, coming up a little bit later in the show, I wanted to just show you our uh, Kitchen HQ um, Smokeless Nonstick Grill and Griddle. This thing is amazing. Anybody that loves that grill flavor, but maybe it's too hot outside or it's raining outside or whatever it is, you can utilize this inside, and you can do amazing meals, whether you're doing kebabs or steaks or chicken. Uh, the really cool thing about it is you've actually got two grill surfaces. You have a flat top uh, griddle, and then when you reverse it, you also get uh, the actual um, grill itself. So if, whether you're doing burgers or dogs, or if you want to do pancakes, you can do all that. The best part is it's totally smokeless, too. It actually has a built-in um, vacuum fan that helps to release uh, or, or actually retrieve most of the smoke that comes through. So it makes it safe and easy and fun at, uh, to use inside. Comes with that lid as well. So if you want to melt the cheese on your burgers, you can do that too. That's coming up a little bit later at a great, great deal. If you'd like to go ahead and pre-select it, I have it in red, silver, plum, purple, excuse me, blue, and I have it in black. Uh, and those are the color choices right there. That's coming up a little bit later. $89.99 and it's on FlexPay and it's free shipping and handling. So we're gonna get you started off with a little of the Joseph Joseph. Now, these are brothers that decided that, you know what, there's gotta be a better way to do things. There has to be a better way to create certain products um, that we use in and around the kitchen. And so what we're gonna start you off with is on sale today is in my opinion, the greatest cutting board that I've ever seen. It is so super smart. It's an angled cutting board that allows the juices and the drippings and all that stuff to sort of trickle off into one side. It has a silicone rim around the outside so you can uh, grab it easily and it helps diffuse the heat. It also allows you to pour the juices off and when you flip it over, it actually has little tiny spikes on in the middle of the uh, cutting surface so you can carve and you can do your slicing on it as well. It is the smart choice for a cutting board uh, and everybody who has seen it has absolutely loved it. It's on sale today, lowest price we've ever done. Chef Eric Tochterman is joining me for the Hi first there. part of the show. Hello, my friend, good to see you. Good to see you, how are you? Uh, I'm fantastic and I love that you brought out sort of old school here with our wooden cutting yes. board. By the way, this feels kind of sticky and gummy and nasty, which is one of the problems with a wooden, wooden board. That's, one of, that's one of the drawbacks. You can't really sanitize it. Right, exactly. Right? And like you said, Joseph and Joseph, two brothers, they were like re really into like gadgets and engineering things and they said, we wanna make some kitchen gadgets better. We don't wanna reinvent the wheel, but we wanna make the wheel better. Right. And they did that with all of their Joseph and Joseph products. And what we have here with the cutting board is ingenious because it's an angled board. So you have a flat side for chopping and then also a carving board where you have these sharp little uh, little teeth that are gonna grip. And then what's great is that it will actually um, gather the juices yeah. of whatever it is you're carving, or if you're chopping on the flat side, it's not gonna allow like your, your things to roll if you're cutting cucumbers or peppers. Yeah. Kinda like what will happen with traditional uh, cutting boards. So like here, we have a New York strip steak and it's not gonna slide all over the place because it's gripped on that on those teeth. Yeah. So think about the holidays when you when you're carving hams and turkeys mm -hmm. and you're and that thing is dancing all over sure. your traditional cutting board. Yeah. You will not have that problem with this cutting board. And what's great is it's a it's a high grade plastic. Yeah. Soft grip uh, plastic right around each edge. So you're gonna get very non-stick. Doesn't move. It's not right. gonna move. I'm moving the table, not the board. Mm -hmm. And then you actually have a great dimension of a 14 and 5 eighths by 11 and a half and, and I, a one inch deep. And I love how the juice runs down to the end. So all you need to do is pick the board up when you're ready, if you want to save like that. that. And look at how smart that is. And it just pours right off. It doesn't trickle down the side or go over the edges and mess up your kitchen counter. Because traditionally, so, so yeah, this is what you, you have you this. Would be doing, so right? you, could, you have the potential, there's juice here. And a lot of times what happens with me is that not every surface is level. So a lot of times what will happen with traditional boards is the juice will start to flow sure. off of your board onto your yep. table and it makes a complete mess. And, and actually trying to clean this board and those of you out there that have had a wooden cutting board, I, I have no wooden cutting boards in my house. First of all, because if you're, yeah. if you're prepping chicken or things like that, you've gotta make sure that you can sanitize that board. Yeah. These you can go in the, you can go in the uh, dishwasher, dishwasher if you want. Dishwasher safe, yes. I usually just take hot soapy water and just rinse mine off. Um, if 
if you did that with a wooden cutting board, you'd have the possibility of yeah. leaving soap right. on the cutting board, and then that will ruin anything that right. you're Right, and, you're, and if you're, you know, worried about germs, you don't know if you're getting your wooden boards completely clean. Right. And you're busting out all these, these, cle these cleansers. What's great about Joseph & Joseph, they've been doing this a long time. Yep. It's, it's a nice angled surface, the high, you know, High uh, plastic content here well, it's all, is great. Yeah, and it's all uh, the ability to be able to sanitize is huge. Sanitize let, it, let dishwasher Let me tell you, safe. I have it available in red, which you see there, and then I also have it available in black. Uh, the green has sold out, but I have those two available. And this is a perfect example where the teeth underneath are, uh, are holding on to the meat while you're carving it, not moving it around. And then I love the fact, and this is a pork roast, and this is, when we brought this out, it was it's perfectly cooked. There's a lot of juice that came out, and and you know that you can add to your to your bowl of drippings or whatever you want to do. But look at how much juice came out of this thing, and none of it is spilling. Because remember, yeah, I'm going to put it right into angled. this cup right here. Yeah, check it out. Just to show you exactly how much comes off. Now that is flavor right there. You skim off that fat, and you're going to be left with unbelievable flavor. So don't let this get you know onto your kitchen good, counter. No, it's good stuff. Save it and use yeah. it as a gravy. You could skim off the, the grease or whatever you want to and then use as the as the foundation exactly. for your gravy. $16.95 is on price break. This is worth every penny. I will tell you, it's a great size. It's larger than most cutting boards. Um, but again, lightweight, it's thin. You can slide it into a drawer. You don't have to worry about that. All the juices are gonna stay right in there. Flip it over when you're doing your prep work. Keep it at this side when you're carving because those little teeth are gonna latch on to whatever it is that you're cutting. It makes a huge, huge difference. And whether you're doing a pork roast or you're doing a beef round, or uh, you know, you're, as uh, Eric said, you're doing your ham. I mean, you can actually see the angle yeah. if we hold it up and kind of maybe turn it to the side a little bit, Eric. You can see how it, yeah. it's the top right here is flat, right? And then down at the bottom is where the ridge is down there. So this just goes smooth right to the edge. Yep. There you go, you can see right there how it angles. It's so, it's such a smart board. And again, the ability to be able to clean it, to me, the most important thing, especially with cutting boards, is to be able to clean them. Um, I, a wooden cutting board is good looking, but I only use wooden boards for cutting things like cheese or serving cheese, because I think right. cheese on a wood board is beautiful. Looks great. But when it comes to doing the prep work, this is the guy you want. And take advantage today, it's on sale today at only $16.90. That won't go any lower than that. A lot of people are grabbing it. Black's the most popular. Uh, personally, I like the red. I've, I've never seen a red cutting board, so I love that. It's great because it's yep. a small footprint. I like that, you know, you can store this very easily. Yeah. It's only one inch wide. So this will, this will fit very easily in a lot of tight spaces. 11, uh, 15 and 5 eighths long by 11 and a half wide by one inch. So if you're not using that all the time and you want to, you know, put this away, it's going to slip really easily into anything. I I just love items like this because it's it's some it's somebody or I should say s s two people uh, in this case that really really thought about what the job of prepping and slicing is all about. Um, I mean, you know, you know. Let, let me tell you, and there's these. I, you go to the home stores and there's these gorgeous wooden, you know, burl wood or, or olive wood and all that stuff, uh, cutting boards, and they're all they're pretty as all heck, but they are totally useless when it comes to being able to utilize them and to be able to clean them. And, and, you know, when you think about the number of things that you do on a cutting board, uh, the chance for cross-contamination is way too good to be thinking about using a wood board. So if you'd like to get this one, and wood boards are great, but they're for serving. I would do cheese and things like right. that. They're, they're good for that. This is the board you want when you're doing your prepping. So choose black or choose red. $16.95 on price break. Take advantage of that. Uh, it's a customer pick too on hsn.com. Read the reviews. Everybody loves the Joseph Joseph stuff. Um, you may spend a little bit more on it, but I will tell you, it's worth it in the long run. It really, it is. really is. Hey, I uh, wanted to mention too the, um, uh, the, um, the knives. We have the six piece knife set, uh, which you see Eric is utilizing. Um, you get a paring knife, you get the six inch chef's knife and the Santoku knife with the built in sharpening uh, mechanism, which is fantastic. Uh, you'll see it's right underneath the knife. When you order these, you'll see they come in the pack and then the sharpening stick is right underneath it. And basically it becomes part of the handle. All you do is you pull it out, pull the knife out, you run it through the sharpener and then you put it right back in the little sheet. That is right there. ingenious it is, to me. This is brilliant. Sharpener, part of the knife. I mean, that to me is the smartest thing I've ever seen. It's worth the price of admission. Like, no matter where you go, you have the sharpener with you. You don't have to worry about a kind of, any kind of sharpening utensil or a sharpening steel. It comes with the knife.
And the key to a, the key to a really super sharp knife is being able to take the material off uh, and do it properly. And so you've got uh, little uh, chunks of carbon down in there and they're angled to the perfect angle so that when you pop it out, it's easy to sharpen. You don't have to, you don't have to know how to use it like you do with a sharpening yeah, stick. Yeah, it, it's great. When I go on vacation, a lot of places, like the, the knives aren't fantastic. Right. I bring knives with me on oh, yeah. vacation and yeah. I love that I can sharpen my knife. Yeah, and by the way, for that price, for only $29.95, it's, it's a great deal. All right, we got a quick special for you and that is our steamer basket. When I was a kid, my mom had a metal steamer basket yep. exactly like this. It was the coolest thing ever yeah. because it would open and close, right? Problem was, it was all rusty. Right. Because back then because in the it was day, metal. it was made of metal and, and because it had moving parts, those parts could not be finished with any kind of a non-rusting agent, so they would corrode. This, on the other hand, will never, ever, ever cor uh, corrode. It fits pretty much any pot that you put it in, and people that are, whether you're cooking eggs or veggies or you're reheating uh, leftovers, whatever it is, or doing dumplings, I love, this has always been my favorite style of steamer basket. Yeah, it's great. And like we said, Joseph and Joseph, they, they went back to the drawing board and said, we love that metal steamer, how can we make it better? So they actually took very high grade, uh, food grade plastic and made it so you have a nice silicone top that's gonna be, it's not gonna be hot to grab like that old metal steamer right, was. You yeah. would have to grab it with tongs yeah, or a towel. Yeah. And then on the bottom, they actually put silicone feet so you're not gonna scratch any of your cookware. So if you have nonstick cookware and you're using those that old metal one, right. you'd be scratching it. But they put silicone there and then actually put it on the side as well. So this can actually fold from about six and a half inches all the way to 10 and a half inches. It's $8, worth of, worth of uh, space. Eight. So you can do everything from steaming vegetables and chicken like we did here. And then- You got a lot of food in there and it's holding it up. Yeah, that's yeah. A, only a couple chicken breasts. And I'm grabbing it, you can see the steam, but because of that silicone top, I'm not burning my fingers. I can go ahead, easily grab that and pick that out. It fits, as we said, any pot because they, you know, it's a self-adjusting uh, little colander steamer insert, right? And so you can use it for anything from like even doing pasta inside there. It's ideal for doing like dumplings and stuff like that. Dim sum if you're into that. Which how about some? Isn't? How about some eggs? I love that. I mean, this is just a dozen. Steam your this eggs. is just a dozen eggs. Yeah. You could fit more on there, but it's just great because it's going to fit any pot because it's going to you know, close and sure. open to so many uh, different style pots that you have. Yep. And while you're steaming, utilize wine and beer because that's really gonna help infuse flavor. Mm -hmm. Like we did uh, wine with the chicken. We did beer, shrimp. steamed shrimp, which yeah. is fantastic. And again, it opens up six and a half all the way up to 10 and a half. Yeah. And then that silicone top, you see the steam billowing out and I'm grabbing this without burning my fingers. I love it because it just reminds me, it reminds me of mom cooking in like the 70s. Yes. I, it, I grew up I, eating steamed artichokes that oh were yeah. steamed on the old metal one. Oh yeah, you yeah. remember that one, right? Yeah, it was, I sure a, it do. was a cool idea. This is even cooler. If you'd like to get it, it's only $8.25. Uh, we'll That's ship great. it out to you, you'll have it, and you'll love it. You probably have the dang thing forever. Your kids right. will be like, remember that steamer that mom had? Hey, coming up a little bit later, we're doing a two pack of our um, salt and pepper um, powered uh, pepper and uh, salt mills. Uh, these are fantastic. They work on batteries, so you don't have to put a lot of effort into utilizing them. I have them uh, in uh, some different colors for you. They're on price break, $10 <laughs> off today. They're also on FlexPay and they're free shipping. I love the classic design of them. I'm a big, big proponent of fresh brown pepper on everything. I mean, why are you gonna use pepper out of a container that's already ground? Why would you do that? Why would anybody do that? When you can grind your own fresh pepper. That, do fresh ground pepper changed my life. I, yeah. I will never go back to I, table I, the container of oh pre-ground yeah. ever I remember, again. I remember being a kid and going to this restaurant called The Pepper Mill. It was actually, it was in Westport, Connecticut, mm -hmm. classic steakhouse. And that was their big claim to fame. They were the, some of the first people to come out with a big giant pepper mill and do it on your steak. Right. What a difference fresh pepper it, makes. Anyway, right. that's coming up in a little bit. So I could go um, on forever about this. This is one of my pepper. picks in the whole block. And I will tell you, because this nesting storage system is the best quality I've seen out there. Um, I love the color-coded design of it. I love the nesting feature of it. It's on price break of $35.95. You have multiple uses and multiple sizes in this, and it's last call on it. I have about, uh, when we started at about six or 700, I think I'm already down to about 500 remaining. It is on FlexPay for $11.98. You can't beat a good stackable storage system, You really can't because I'm not one that likes to use 
this old plastic bag no. for storage. I like to be able to reuse. I don't like Can't, this going through the landfill. Try putting lasagna in there and good luck with that, which I've... It, Exactly. Right? There's a lasagna it, it in a never, plastic it never, bag. It never, it never works. <laughs> but what's ingenious about the Joseph & Joseph 20-piece storage system is that they took storage systems and then the aha moment is that they actually color coordinated the lids to go with the container. So you never have to go searching around to find your, the, you know, the proper lid for the proper container. Because I know that my yellow container goes with my yellow lid right. and it matches up perfectly and it stacks beautifully. The lids snap into place so that way, without a problem, That's everything brilliant. stacks beautifully together and the capacity is amazing. We're talking over 500 ounces total worth of storage space between all of the containers. Yeah, a lot of people will go and they buy like the little four packs and five packs of the cheapo ones and, and I'm not poo-pooing those completely, I guess. <laughs> If you want ones that you can throw away or recycle, that's great. But for me, that's a waste of time and a waste of money. When you have these that you can use over and over again, let me tell you what you're gonna get. Uh, and, but they're all BPA free, by the way. You're gonna get two eight ounce containers with the lids, two 18 ounce containers. Which is these? Uh, with the lids, uh, two 37 ounce containers. 263 ounce, and those are the big jumbo which the size. Which is the purple. Right. Right there. We give you a 101 ounce container with a lid and 152 blue. ounce. And that's the green. So, and that could be like for your pasta salads or your larger leftover meals. Um, these are ideal. They're great for taking to work. They're great for uh, organizing your kids. They're great for organizing picnics or, or banquets or whatever you're doing. A lot of times I like to do a lot of my dishes the day before and prep them ahead of time. It's great for that too, because you've got something that's really uh, very, very substantial. Um, it's The gauge is about 10 times thicker uh, than the cheap stuff that you see at the, at the yeah, grocery store. Yeah, this is store. sturdy, this isn't flimsy. No, th this you use over, and you're gonna have these for years and years and years. And you, you'll be amazed at how convenient it is to have everything in one place. I was one of those folks that had lots of containers, you know, kind of piecemeal this piece of that. The lid didn't fit on that one. The lids always crack right at the corner. Right. Um, they're very hard to take on and off. Um, Joseph Joseph designed these so that they're easy on the hands as well. You have that sort of a, a silicone material um, all around the outside and that's pliable so that BPA you can move your free. fingers. Yeah, and you just put you just put a little pressure on it. Snap and think, shut. And think about the 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 cheap plastic containers that you may be using out there. You put it in the microwave. What happens? Sometimes you actually warp You'll the cook plastic it. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. cook it. But for meal preppers out there, or if you like preparing your own lunch, we did a salad in a container, and then Brilliant. to keep the fr the salad fresh, we kept the crouton separate, and then we kept the vinaigrette separate. So when you get to work, you can actually mix it yourself. Mm -hmm. This is a tight fitting lid. Nothing's gonna uh, you know spill no, on you. Completely sealed, so if you have liquid in there, you don't have to worry, or, or if you're putting something in there that has juice or whatever, don't worry about that. They're ideal for storing soups. They're ideal for leftover vegetables that maybe you've you you know you've cut up and you want to put away. As Eric said, for salads, you know, I, I, always, I always say, you know, when you're, when you're trying to lose weight, there's so many things that stand in your way that, that, that make it hard to do that. And one of the right. things is, oh, then I gotta get a container, then I gotta, you know what I mean? Right. Like trying to make a salad, now you're like, okay, so now I need containers for the salad, I need containers for the dressing, I need containers for what I'm putting in the salad. When you have them, you will do it. And that, I'm telling you, don't look for excuses. This is a great way to be able to port anything. Maybe it's, uh, you know, it's because we're, we're entering in from spring into summer here. Maybe it's just you're going to a picnic. You know, you have 4th of July coming up and you've prepped up veggies or fruits. How about a whole watermelon and being able to do uh, the entire watermelon and put all that fresh watermelon right into a container? And having all the different color-coded tops is great because you know exactly what yep. lid fits what top. Because the old containers that I have, like that I've used in the past, my cabinets are a mess. So in order to combat that, I would actually take my containers and put the lids on them. But what that does is it then takes away my, ca my cabinet space because I want to keep all those lids. Now with this, they nest beautifully inside one another. So, and then I know when I want the large container, I know the large container has the green dot on the bottom. It's going to match with the green lid on top. Yeah, and this is the largest container at 152 ounces. And you this can, is 19 yeah. cups worth of, of uh, liquid or capacity You there. can tell when you hit it on the table that this is not like the little teeny, you know, little paper thin disposable type. These are ideal if you like to go camping, if you're a boater, 
and you want things to keep things dry inside there, you know, whether you're putting your keys in your wallet and all that stuff in there, you, you, they're ideal for anybody out there. Uh, we had, uh, Kyle, my producer just told me we had 800. We're already down to about 400. These will sell out. I hope they don't sell out before I get some because I totally need a, a new set. And by the way, buy as many sets as you like. They're a customer pick. In fact, if you go to hsn.com, I wish you would read the reviews. Out of the 38 reviews, 31 are five star. 31 are perfect reviews. And the other seven are on or about that same sort of a rating. So I don't see what you could find wrong with these personally because they're the perfect sizes. It's a great assortment of sizes, even right down to the little ones. Because sometimes, you know, maybe you just have a few olives left over in a jar. Right. Like I've, I've been, uh, recently I've been eating a lot of beans and salad. So mm -hmm. I've been buying black beans, which are great, right. lot high fiber. And, and um, some what's garbanzo the other? Garbanzos, beans. Garbanzos, right. Very good. Um, and I've been, and I never use the whole container. And I'm like, but I don't want to put a metal with a piece of plastic wrap, you know, right. thing back in. Because, you know, those, a lot of them you have to open the cans and they're not resealable take them in the juice and just pour them right in there and you don't have to worry about anything. I mean, honestly, these are gonna make your life so much easier. FlexPay, which you see there, is our way of breaking up the payments. Uh, a wonderful way to be able to not have to pay $35 all at once. You pay $11.98, you get the product shipped to your house. If you don't love it, return it. You have 30 days in which to return it. And I will tell you, I don't think anybody would ever return these because you're gonna, these will go you're into go, action you're the using, minute, the day you get them, I guarantee you'll put something absolutely. in Absolutely. Right. Now what's funny is you're talking about using like little bits of stuff and which is great about the, you know, the one cup capacity, capacity container is that, here's a funny story. I was away for uh, Easter, cooked for my, uh, my in-laws and I made a shrimp dish and there was two shrimp left over <laughs> and I love my mother-in-law but she used a plastic bag just for two shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this plastic bag, this is gonna get used once and thrown away. I could have put the two shrimp in here sure. and then it still could have been used over and over and over. Or this the is, cocktail sauce, if right. you have that. I mean, these, the this smaller- top, top rack dishwasher I, safe. I'm amazed at how much I use small containers over the large ones. You know, once when I'll make like a family size meal, stuffed peppers or something like that, where I wanna put, you know, I wanna put that into a container and I sure don't wanna put that into a bag. Bags are messy, bags leak. Um, you never know if you've sealed it properly. And this amount of space you're gonna save. In fact, Eric, you're gonna go, you're gonna go over to the fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the you fridge because- Eric, I'll Show you how they look in the fridge. This is, this is exactly what this is gonna do for your life, is that you're gonna be able to organize everything a lot easier with the storage containers from Joseph and Joseph. You can see that we have things like sliced oranges and peppers. If you do meal preps, if, you, if you're used to prepping uh, you know, over the weekend, you can go ahead and get everything ready for your meals for the week. So everything from little lemon wedges to your quinoas, your rice, your leftovers. It's gonna, it's gonna take care of your fridge and organize it in such an unbelievable way that you're gonna love it. Remember, multiple sizes and multiple uses. I have about 350 to go around. Um, these can go in the freezer, correct? Freezer safe. Okay. Refrigerator safe. Microwave safe. <laughs> Top rack dishwasher safe. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to use this over and over and over for years. And again, it's got the color coordination dots to match back with the yeah. lid, which is, I think, the aha moment of <laughs> the, this whole system. Yeah. That Joseph and Joseph, they, they well, said- You don't have a bunch of stacked lids sitting in there and you're trying right. to figure out, you know, yeah, you're like, is it you're having this a one? Moment. I don't know, is it this one? You don't have to because like, the what's lids- What's wrong with me? Where did that lid go? They took, Joseph and Joseph oh. said, let's, let's make sure that the lids actually snap together. So they all fit together perfectly. And remember, you may pay a little bit more for these. Just, they're worth it. I mean, I, 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 I hate to see people go out and spend five or six or seven bucks on a five pack of these things only to wind up throwing them away or, or hopefully recycling them when they break. And it doesn't take very long. Those are very, very thin gauge. They're not, they're not really sealable. Um, you know, they, have, they flip on, but they don't really stay. And once you, if you, heaven forbid, you put them in the dishwasher, which I don't think you're supposed to with those, um, they, they're gonna melt and they're never gonna fit again, right? right. So these are made to last. Um, they are reusable over and over and over again. They're BPA free, um, microwave safe, freezer safe. So, and remember, not just, not just stuff that you're storing in the fridge. Ideal for dry goods. Eric's Everything. got a whole bunch of stuff of their sugar. Beans, rice, yeah. sugar, flour. Yeah. Keep those bugs out. We're in an area in Florida where we get a lot of bugs. In, even into our pasta boxes, we yeah. get these little bugs. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then all of a sudden you go to cook pasta that, and, there, and there's pepper, quote unquote, pepper you know floating on top. And, You're and like, that's, 
Just so everybody nasty. knows out there, that's that's quite common, believe it or not, because a lot of those companies that produce, uh, produce the organic products don't use any kind of a you know way to keep bugs out of the, out of the boxes so right. they get in there. It probably won't hurt you, but still. Once they get in there, they go from one place to the next, and that's not a good thing. So you want to make sure that everything is sealed up and everything is sanitary and everything is good for you and your family. Um, remember, again, you get a huge configuration. This is all of them spread out over here. We've got them all stacked up. And then we have all of them. Um, this is all of them right in here. Look at how they all conveniently, uh, except for the little big jumbo ones. Over 63 cups yeah, worth of that. storage capacity amongst all yep. the pieces. All right, Eric. Great job. Thank you so much. That's it for Always you? Always a pleasure. That's it. All right, Eric's going to take great day. off. Uh, hey, I want to remind everybody, we have the Kitchen HQ uh, grader available, um, but it's very limited, so we're not going to do a full presentation. Anything you want to chop or cut or grate, just pop it in the top, put the lid on, and give it a turn, and you'll be amazed. Now, you get three different car uh, cutting cylinders that go inside. You get a slicer, and then you get two different sizes, which will do your grating. So whether you want to do cheese, or if you want to do breadcrumbs, you can do that as well. I like to put things like saltine crackers in there or I like to put croutons in there to make breading. Put Cheez-Its in there for your chicken. Oh my gosh, the best chicken you ever had in your life. Anyway, it's available in different colors and it's only $24.95. So uh, if you would like to check out our other selection of Kitchen HQ products, which are exclusive to HSN, go to hsn.com and check it out. There's all kinds of great stuff. I love Kitchen HQ stuff, really great. I've got a bunch of it stuff, their stuff at home and I love it. Affordable options to be able to do all kinds of great prep work. All right, we're gonna continue on. Carrie Mobley, you can just come on right out here. Because we don't get a lot of time to spend on our little our little creatures here, which are gonna help us with the dreaded fruit flies. Ugh. Now, I, you know what's so funny is everybody gets them. Because yes. when you buy fruit at the store, the chances are probably 99 out of 100 that there's a fruit fly or some or the part egg. of it, or the egg <laughs> that's on the fruit. And they're not necessarily going to hurt you, but they're an absolute nightmare. Um, they're, they fly all over your house and then they get in and it's hard to get rid of them. We've got these wonderful little containers that, that are absolutely beautiful. They're made of ceramic, they're hand painted, they're gorgeous. And these are gonna help you with your fruit fly problem. Now I have them available in the pig, I have them available in the cow, mm -hmm. and then I also have them available in the rooster. They're so darn they cute. Are, and you know what, they don't look like anything no. other than just a decorative little Well I was gonna container. say, I mean, if, if you don't have the fruit fly problem, or get you it, yeah. get, get it anyway, pig. because it's so cute, they're adorable, but they are hiding a dirty little secret. This is really great because it's by Wind & Weather and we all know that Wind & Weather makes really top-notch, high-quality items. They've been around since 1976. And just like Guy said, here we are. We've been waiting for spring and summer. We're gonna be going to the fruit markets. We're gonna be you know, bringing in fresh produce into the house. And lo and behold, one day you're going to see those fruit flies. Now they are disgusting. They have their, uh, they defecate, so to speak, oh, gosh, you know, yeah, all you over go. your fruit. They lay their eggs on the fruit. And so we want to find a nice way to trap them. So basically what you do is you're going to create a little concoction at home. And you yeah. can Google it. It's not going to come with that. Um, what you do, though, is you just mix together something sweet, like a yeah, like you know, red wine vinegar, yeah, vinegar or... Yep, exactly. I balsamic vinegar because it's sweet. And the flies love it because yep. it's made of grapes. So. And then, yeah. so you make that little concoction and you dump it right inside your, let's say, we're going to do the rooster right, right inside here. Yeah. And then the, the fruit flies, they fly in here they start to drink it and then that concoction that you make basically takes them down i also mix with mine um some dish soap because that's going to be the part that like really sticks it to them yeah sure. and then i add a little bit of water to mine and again you can just google it uh, you know those ingredients for it's, yeah bait. You, you you all have it at home whatever it, it's all stuff that you have it on whether it's dish soap or vinegar yep. or, and you can mix you can make little different things and, and all it does is it's an attractant to the little fruit flies, they can't resist it. So they fly in, where do they fly in? Right under the bottom. So you can see it's slightly elevated. We've got tiny right. little uh, ledges on here. So they scooch right in there? They get right in there and then they start to drink that little concoction that you made and then they get trapped in there. Uh -huh. And so all you have to do is rinse it out and you know, the thing is, you are gonna get fruit flies. It is part of, you know, having fresh produce at your house. Yeah. Um, but it's just always so awful when you see those fruit flies and somebody comes over to your well, house within 24 hours you can have a swarm of well, these fruit flies and if you have your fruit or stuff in a bowl like this which a lot of us do because
because not only is it pretty and it's decorative, but um, it also allows your fruit to ripen a little bit Correct. better. Because you know, if you once you put fruit in the fridge, it's not going to ripen anymore. So uh, especially I have tomatoes now, so you want to do that. And and the, once the fruit flies get in there. And like I said, you know, the fruit flies themselves are more of an annoyance than anything else. I used to deal with it when I ran restaurants yeah, for a living. right. I would have, a, you know, my fruit tray, and that's why all fruit trays have a lid on it, but it would be like, invariably, I would get some customer be like, there's a fly in my drink. I'm oh, like, my Lord. Like, yeah, because it can't, it's a little fruit fly. It came from the <laughs> lemon or the olives, because they'll, they'll go for olives. They go oh, for anything. Anything, I anything. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, for a lot of people, I mean, if you are ingesting those eggs or the, you know, the defecation, you know, it can, it can give you some digestive issues, of course, but the truth is, they are just an annoyance, and they make me feel when I have them at my house that something yeah. about my house is dirty. Yeah. So just have them come in here, well, take a little drink, and die. And it's so cute, and it's so clever, and it's adorable, and it's not industrial. It's something that people are like, okay, I gotta live in this house. I don't wanna put like some little fly trap thing. Like, remember the, <laughs> yes, remember the old days? I do, I the do. Old days, I remember, you know, and it was for big house flies. You had the, the pieces of tape that they would hang down. Yeah. We had one in the lifeguard shack uh, many, many, many years ago when I was a lifeguard. We, that's how we got rid of flies. We'd hang these, and they were the most disgusting, that is so bogue. awful, like <laughs> terrible thing. Um, this is a way to be able to get rid of the, the nasty things without having to send out the message that you have fruit flies, right? So they just, as they, you know, the classic, they fly in, but they don't come out. Right. Stay inside. You want to rinse it out with uh, soapy water maybe once a week is all you have to deal with it. But I love the fact that it just sits on your counter. A lot of people collect pigs and they collect cows. Oh, yeah, cows all these motifs, or, right. Or they collect roosters. Yep. And um, they're adorably done. And they're all, by the way, you know, ceramic has to go, has to be fired in a kiln. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of work that goes into these for only $16. They're in clearance today. So to get it home, you're getting a little piece of artwork that actually has a really good purpose. Yeah, and I remember when when I was growing up, because I lived in the country, and um, we didn't have air conditioning, so the windows were always open, and we would have fruit flies all over. My mom made, like, a homemade one that had, yeah. like, saran wrap on top of it and nice. holes punched How in it. Beautiful. It was disgusting. <laughs> it was disgusting, yeah. and I have, like, flashbacks to that. And, and, you know, I will say that everybody that's here walks by these, and they always say, oh, they're so cute. Uh, and I think it is such a surprise like that a what they jar. are. Yes, exactly. Don't eat cookies Don't put out your of hands it. in there. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, honestly, but even if you don't have fruit flies, like you said, uh, to Carrie's point, you would just leave this out, and it's absolutely adorable. Um, the little fruit flies will, trust me, they will get in there. Yo, don't they're, worry. They, they're they so will, drawn to the they, concoction you're going to make at home. Which, yeah. Guy, I yeah. mean, what you make, you know, to kind of draw these in, the bait, you're going to have all of it already in your pantry. I used um, uh, uh, cider apple cider vinegar, vinegar yeah. which I needed those containers because this spilled in my car on my yeah, way here well, and then some soap and yeah. then some water and then you just pour it in here like right on the side yeah. and again that sweetness draws them in the soap just sticks it to them and then all you have to do is rinse well, it out every once in a while and and it's such a great feeling and the, and the key to getting rid of fruit flies is like we said minimalizing them as quickly as you possibly can because they propagate so quickly oh, so quick um I, I like i said it was a nightmare in the because it didn't matter what restaurant that i was working at yeah we had them. It's not about cleanliness. They, they it's just, they, the, yes. Yeah, they come in with the fruit, and there's not much you can do about that. And as I said, they're not, they're not going to hurt you. They're just an annoyance. And, and they are so tiny that they're really hard. To, if you try to get them by hand, they're impossible because they're, they're so small. But you will see them buzzing around your head. And even worse, if they're in your drink when you're drinking it, that's mm, no fun. Extra protein. All. Hey, yeah, no there thanks. we go. I'll eat the steak. <laughs> I'll eat the steak that Eric just had. But anyway, if you'd like to get it. $16.62 on clearance uh, from our friends at Wind & Weather. Um, just remember, you have the choice of the cow, the pig, or the rooster. Thanks, Carrie. My pleasure. That was quick. I know. Came in, she got rid of our flu flies, 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 and she took off. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm going to run. I'll yes, see you sir. in a little Sounds bit. Good. We're going to continue on, everybody. And we're, I, earlier, I was... I was actually yelling at everybody out there who is not putting fresh pepper on their food because fresh pepper is everything uh, when it comes to seasoning. Um, there's not a chef in the country, or I would say in the world, that goes and buys their pepper hmm. in an industrial container already ground. Already ground. You, you just don't do that. Um, it's a, that's a big uh, uh, faux pas in the uh, world of, of cooking. Sure. Um, uh, Miss Kelly Diedring is here. Hi, Hi, Dawn. How are you? I'm well. How are you? You look great. You Thank feeling you. good? I'm feeling good. Fantastic. All right. Well, we're going to talk about salt and pepper yes. mills Aren't they um, and why I think they're so important. Oh, now, they're so uh, pretty. With salt. 
it's really uh, the uh, grinding out uh, whatever kind of salt you have is, is really doesn't release any more flavor, but what it does is it allows you to control the amount of salt and the size of the salt that, uh, crystals that you're putting on. Because some, you know, if you're doing like chocolates and things and you want your salt a little larger and it It also gives it a nice texture yeah, too, it does, right? right? Yeah. It's a little smooth, but with pepper, Pepper is a lot like coffee or tea or anything else where it, it actually has what we call oils inside. They're volatile oils yeah, inside. Yeah, like essential oils, yep. That, essential oils that need to, when you crack them, that's when they're at their freshest. So yep. you will get the mo most of the pepper flavor when you've cracked it. It's the same with any other uh, spices out there. So that is why fresh ground pepper has such a great aroma and has such a nice, bold flavor. You can decide how thick uh, you want the coarseness yes. of your of your grind, yep. but what I love about it is Look at you with one finger. One finger. So these, I love these, by the way, by They're Dash. They're great. They are the most beautiful salt and pepper mills I think I have ever seen. It looks like the old world kind that you you have to twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't have to twist these. So if you have arthritis push or button. yeah, if you have any kind of weak, weakened hands or anything like that, it's a single push button. But it looks like the fancier version. So you getting the salt and the pepper. Smart. It comes in a variety of colors. We'll go over those. You can see on top it says S and P, but they're just simply gorgeous. They almost look like candlesticks to me. I mean, these could yeah. adorn any table at all times, but what you're getting, as Guy mentioned, is so special for flavoring your dishes. You can actually control whether you want like a fine ground pepper or a fine so ground smart. salt, or maybe you like to do the pink Himalayan sea salt, Love you know? That. Yeah. And you can twist this a little bit to get a more coarse grind or a fine grind. So you can see, all you have to do is twist it, choose what you're doing based on what you're cooking. Maybe you're doing a roast chicken and you want like sure. a really coarse ground pepper. Maybe you're doing a soup and you want a little oh, finely ground like salt. Look at the powder that you get with that one as I twisted it. Wow. And so you have all the different abilities, no matter what you're cooking, with the press of a button, but look how gorgeous they and are. Here's, and here's a little more coarse. And yep. you can see how, see how the pieces are bigger? See that? So you can actually see the little grains coming out and you have full control over that. What I love about these is that you don't have the manual labor of having to sit there and grind you and grind. You don't have to crane. A lot of us out there, a lot of people out there um, have issues with their hands. Yep. My mom has issues with her hands. Um, whereas trying to use a pepper mill is very difficult with this. And also um, what I love about the pepper mill is I like my pepper very finely ground. Okay. Um, it depends what you're doing. If you're doing a steak au poivre yep. or something like that, then you want what the Little grains that you're showing yep. right there. But if you want to put it like on salad, I don't like getting a big chunk of pepper yeah, on so salad. Like I said, it depends on what you're making. So for salads, for soups, you want a more fine grind, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're doing something like maybe even chicken breast or a whole roast chicken, sure. you want that coarse grind because it's not gonna burn as quickly as you're roasting it. So anything that you're doing on high heat, you want it a little more coarse so it doesn't get acidic or bitter or anything like that. You get those natural essential oils. So you choose what you're cooking and all you do is give it a little twist. So here's our steak and Guy's gonna do a little mm -hmm. seasoning on our chicken breast. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you buy it already ground, especially the pepper, all the essential oils are gone, right? So you don't get that taste of the pepper. Yeah. It's why five-star restaurants come yeah, to the fine. table and they grind it at the table. Yeah. Have you ever been to a night, not even five-star restaurants, now everybody's doing it. They come to your table and they grind it at your table. Why do, why do they do that? They're being fancy and it tastes better. It's it tastes smart. so yeah. much better well, and they're being smart. Let me tell you, there's certain, the certain meals that you have, like if you're having a Caesar salad and you put fresh ground pepper oh, on it's that, amazing. it is unbelievable. Yep. Yeah, show us some colors. All there, right, Kelly. so it all comes gift box, which I think is really nice. So maybe this is a dad's day gift or you know, maybe a little belated mother's day gift. Love it. Um, you'll have to tell me what these are. Are we just calling these uh, white? That's cream. Oh, cream, okay. We have gray. it in uh, gray. Yep, there's our gray. We and then have we have the navy. Navy. And then are these lavender? Uh, doesn't say here, but I'm gonna go with lavender, go with but lavender. it does say red. And then I love the red. Yeah, that's plum, actually. Oh, plum. It's I would really call that lavender. a little more lavender, yeah. <laughs> I like it because they look like big chess pieces. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I mean, they can just sit out at your table all year round, just adorning, you know, if you have one of those table leaves, how beautiful like will they gray. be? Look at Let's these bring so them with us because we'll yeah. season our steaks. We're going to bring these over and we've yep. got our smokeless grill from HQ coming up next. Here's some information from the Beekman boys. We'll be right back. Stick around. We use goat milk because we had it and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. 
people really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Available on Apple and Android devices. Think all remote controls are the same? Think again. Now when you're watching HSN and you see something you want, you can use your remote control to order it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's a safe way to order. With HSN, shop by remote. All right, welcome back, everybody. We saved uh, something really special for the end of this hour, and it's our Kitchen HQ 1,500-watt uh, nonstick grill and griddle. Uh, this is uh, what we're calling our feature price. You know, our, our, our planners and buyers, they travel all over the world to pick out special items that we can feature to you at a very special price today. It's only $89.99 with free shipping and handling. It's $22.50 on FlexPay. What I love about this is it's truly a two-in-one grill griddle. Um, you can use it as a griddle when you're doing your hotcakes or you're doing your eggs or you're doing uh, meals like that. And then when you want to use it as a regular grill for your steaks, it is perfect. Yep. One of the very few that comes with that incredible lid, which not only keeps the, spa the spatter from going all over the it's place, but it, it allows you to almost bake in yes. there and Create melt convection. when you're doing like yep. uh, a pizza and stuff like that. Yes. Um, I love the fact that we've got full digital control up here, up to what, 460, 460 degrees. degrees. Sear steaks, cook burgers, hot dogs. Uh, you want to grill your chicken breasts. It's a dieter's best friend for people that are doing high protein or, or keto, veggies. Yep, yep. They're ideal for that. Um, this is an exclusive from H, uh, Kitchen HQ. We're talking about 1,500 watts of power. So whether you're doing breakfast, lunch, lunch yep. dinner, and you or dinners, it is the perfect size, 19 by 11. Everybody that orders will get both plates. There is a griddle plate, which yep. is the flat. And then there is the, the grill, grill that has the perforations in it that allows for that uh, heat to get through and allows for the grease and stuff and the grill to drip marks. through. And the grill marks. Because this is a true indoor grill. It is. You are yes. using this inside, folks. Yes. And it has a built-in... Uh, well, smoke Fan. system. Yep. We call it a, a, a vacuum. Smoke vacuum. vacuum. It yeah. actually sucks the smoke away yep. so that you will see that in front of Kelly, who intentionally wore dark, that you're not seeing a bunch of smoke. smoke. And these, yep. are, these are steaks with fat. And so if you want a Tuesday night and do a steak, guess what? You can get that char grill flavor indoor all season, any I season, no matter what state you're living in, yep. no matter the weather. And I think that's what's important. But most people roll their eyes when you say indoor grill because they've had a bad experience with an indoor grill. Yeah. Let me tell you why ours is different. First of all, you're getting 1,500 watts of power. That's the most wattage you can get on an indoor um, appliance that plugs in. Yep. That's the most wattage we can give you. You're getting the fan, which I'm gonna show you a really cool demonstration here in a minute. You're getting that precise temperature control. So if you're on a grill outdoors guy, like if you're on your charcoal grill, guess what? Do you have any idea what temperature you're grilling? No, no, no. clue. It's anybody's no guess, control. right? Yeah. No control is just, okay, we do I flip it? You babysit the food and run around and go yeah, crazy. Yeah, no propane. No messy charcoal, no going out in the elements. You can get that char grill flavor any season, any time, and you can do it with this. So I'm going to let those finish up. I can put that lid on top, which I think is so great because most indoor grills or electric skillets don't even come with a lid at all. Right. Let yeah. alone one that seals. Plus, this one stands up on its so own. So smart. It's such a smart design by Kitchen HQ. It might be one of our favorite, my favorite Kitchen HQ items. Let's put that lid on, and then we're going to go do this demonstration because it's my favorite. Okay. We talk about over. the smoke, right? Yeah, so so one of the big issues people have with indoor grills is the fact that they smoke up the entire house and they have to put all the exhaust fans on and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This, we're you gonna show, no, we're, we're gonna cr intentionally create some smoke here. We have a grill plate here, all right? And we've put wine on there and you can see, there's a lot of smoke. All right, so I turned the fan off and the moment I hit the on button, you're gonna start to see it literally sucking up the smoke, 1500 watts right back here, and mm -hmm. it is almost completely gone. That is wow. the salmon smell. That is the Brussels sprout odor. That is the bacon grease smell that you so don't cool. want in your home. Let me turn that fan off again, ready? Yeah, and we'll get it going. Now watch. And you have the option to use the fan or not, which I think is really important. Put the fan on. And then I'm turning it Look. Look at that. You can see it going it down literally, the And that's why I wear black when I do this show. Wow. Because I want you to be able to see one more time because I think it's so cool. So if you've ever had a bad experience with a quote unquote indoor grill that didn't get rid of this, the odors and the smoke, 
try this one. You're gonna be able to get that char grill flavor like you were outdoors brilliant. year round. So it's yeah. summertime all year, springtime all year. You can have a chicken breast on a Tuesday night that sure. tastes grilled yeah. because you have that indoor grill. Well, and, and again, like I said, this is ideal for empty nesters, uh, you know, uh, great for families too, but if it's just you and your wife or you and your husband or partner, whatever it is, it's so nice to be able to cook burgers and not have to go outside and start up a big barbecue. Um, you know, maybe it's just for two people or maybe it's for four people or maybe sure. you're doing breakfast for six or eight people. I love the fact that you can do that. We've got three jumbo New York steaks on here that we have cooked and we've cooked them perfectly and we've roasted our vegetables. Now you're still gonna get grilled barbecue flavor because, oh, because you that have... comes from the, basically the juices charring on the grill plate. Uh, right. That's where the flavor comes from. And you're from. getting it with your vegetables, you're getting it with your proteins, you're getting it with yeah. your steaks. You can see the grill marks just as if I was outside oh, yeah. with those charcoal briquettes, with all that pain in the neck, with yeah. going to buy, oh, you forgot the charcoal. Oh, sure. gotta go down to the store and get the charcoal. Yeah. Guess what? Don't have to worry about a propane tank. Don't have to worry about a lighter fluid, anything. Now I can do indoors year round. Now that's the grill plate. Yeah. You're also getting the griddle plate. Now there's an infomercial out there right now. Mm -hmm. It's a similar item. It's about 1200 watts of power, which gives you less power in terms of, you know, the vacuum of the smoke, but it comes with a grill plate and that's it. Yeah. It doesn't come with the griddle plate. And I think that's really neat that we're giving you the well, option. Because a cook, you can't cook really cook breakfast on a grill. It's kind of hard. About I mean, bacon's eggs, about the only thing you can do. Maybe if yeah. it doesn't slide through, but you yeah. can with this. Hey, really quickly, let me mention colors uh, because we have several different colors to choose from. The one in front of Kelly is blue. I have it available in red. I have it available in the plum. I have it in black, and then finally I have it, and we're calling that silver, which is the one that's down on the end, and we'll show you that in just a sec. They all work the same. It's just a matter of choice of whatever color you love. I said earlier that, you know, something like this truly is uh, a dieter's best friend oh, or somebody absolutely. that's trying to There's eat lean healthy. Proteins. Because literally you do not have to add anything other than flavor to these. You have nonstick grill uh, plates on there. We have these wonderful little uh, Simply Beyond uh, organic Would oils. you ever take that outdoors <laughs> to a so grill? Good. And would you ever spray that over an open flame? Wouldn't I would smart. never be brave enough to spray my oils right. over an open flame. But now it doesn't matter because there's no open flame. So I can take my oil, uh, you know, anything I want to use to season sure. this, and I can spray it because there's no flare-ups. There's no open flame here. And I'll talk about the system that you're yep. getting. And if you pick these up, you know, use them right over the grill or griddle plate, Season your proteins, just like you said, and you can get the flavor These on your awesome. lean proteins. If you are doing that keto diet, or maybe you're just trying to get it a little bit healthier, you can get that grill flavor, which is what we want, which is what we crave. You know, uh -huh. we're Americans. It's very Americana for us to be grilling. Oh, yeah. You can do it on a Monday night at 8 p.m. Yeah. You're never going to go outdoors on a Monday night at 8 p.m. and do a chicken right. breast, but now yeah. you can. Well, and I love it, too, because a lot of people are also concerned about cooking with charcoal and things yep. like that, with carcinogens and all these different sure. things. And they're like, I just want to have clean grilling. This yep. is the this way. This is clean to, grilling. This is clean grilling um, because you are still getting that great grill flavor, but you're not getting all the nastiness and the smoke and everything else that goes along with it. Yep. So when you buy this today, it's only $22.50 on FlexPay. FlexPay is a way to, for, to break up the payments to make it more affordable. There's no shipping charge on this today so it's free shipping you can see underneath the element that actually sits underneath allows for the the fats and the drip to grease drip through, to drip through yeah. but it also allows for the some of the juices to, to cook up a little bit and yeah. create some yep. of the flavor yep. that, uh, that goes to your meat and remember you have the ability of turning the fan on or off or which off. i think is really cool sometimes you want a little bit of smoke yeah sometimes fine. if you want to create that convection sure. we'll talk about that you're getting both the grill and the griddle plate these are both die cast aluminum which is we know aluminum is the best conductor of heat so you're not going to get the hot spots but guess what's so cool about this Dishwasher safe, both of these. Love that. Throw these in your dishwasher, don't even worry about it, or they wipe clean nice and easily because it's that high-end non-stick. And then this is the only piece I don't want you to put in the dishwasher. Obvious, obviously, it's gonna be your heating element. Yeah. So that heating element there does not go in the dishwasher, but you can see how big it is. Yeah, it's So thick. you're not gonna, it's nice and thick. It's gonna get full coverage, so you're gonna have those, yeah. you know, even heating. This is dishwasher safe, your drip pan. Mm -hmm. And then underneath, where you put your water, 
you can throw that in the dishwasher it's or so you can easy. put spices and seasonings in there. Yeah. If you're doing salmon or something like that, you could do a little lemon juice or liquid smoke. I love it. And I also love the fact that you have sort of all in one contained cooking here. So you don't have to have a bunch of different pots and pans going. Everything cooks right there. You wipe it down at yep. the end of the day or put it in the dishwasher. I find that I can just, because it's nonstick, I can just quickly rinse it off and just put it back on and load it up. Yep. I love the fact that, you know, we have the ability to have that flat top griddle um, like you see in dining and things like that because doing scrambled That's eggs like or omelets, griddle, yeah. it's like a big giant rectangular saute pan. <laughs> Right? Yeah. It is. And it's it true. just makes life so much well, easier. Well, and at the end of the day, you're never going to be able to do a full pack, you know, full package of bacon on your saute pan. I don't care what size saute pan you have. You can do a full package of bacon. Yeah. Here, you're getting that size. But you can see it's nonstick. All of those plates are dishwasher safe. The lid that comes included is so cool. It stands upright, which I think is really neat. It's mm -hmm. just all the little things that make things, you know, easier. Go yeah. to the first couple of pages of reviews on this. People are going crazy for it. They, yeah, they are. They're absolutely loving life here. Remember, 1,500 watts is the key to this whole thing. It cooks really, really at high temperature. So you can get up there and you can sear things like burgers and steaks. And, and if you're doing salmon, here's a nice thing too, right? With the salmon, I mean, you, with, with ours, you could put salmon on either one. But with most barbecue grills, you're not going to put salmon on there sure. because uh, there's not a barbecue grill out there it's that a, uses fire that's nonstick. Right. I'm sorry, it may no, start not, out that a, way. No. The nonstick is gone after the first time you yeah. use it and then you are scraping your food off those grates. With ours, because the nonstick is created in a way that, that you're not charring it and burning it and scraping it, um, you know, with big industrial tools, you don't have to because everything releases easily. We're gonna crank it up and I wanna, are we gonna do the bacon? Yeah, I'm gonna actually switch because I wanna okay. show you. So I'm gonna switch um, and you would do this at home while it was uh, cooled down, obviously. I'm gonna switch it while it's hot. But you just pull up the griddle plate and then you pop down the grill plate. Thanks, Amanda. And then you're gonna be able to do anything you want the fat to drip through. And that's why I like awesome. to use it for bacon, right? Yeah. And that's what I was mentioning. There's not a frying pan out there that could do a full package of bacon. You'd have to do it in two or maybe even three oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in our rounds. Yeah. We've got that full package of bacon and we're able to do it all at once with the fat dripping through, not sitting in its own grease, which I think if you're gonna eat bacon, you might as well eat a little bit of healthier version of the bacon. Bacon's not bad for you. <laughs> Whoever said bacon is not. What planet are you from? <laughs> protein. <laughs> well, protein, you need uh, to have some protein. You know what? Bacon's so dang good, I'm sorry. And, and, and listen, I'm telling you to eat 38 pieces. You know it's That's funny too. That's the full package People of bacon. go out there and they buy like fake bacon, fake. No, 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 you gotta get. Oh. Fakin'. They, that's what they're doing. If you're, you're faking yourself out. I think you're making it, yourself, well, making something up right here's now. Here's the thing. I want you to do this. I've never heard go, of faking. Go look at the turkey bacon or whatever it oh, is. Oh, I see what you mean. Non-pork. Look at the calorie count. Before you look at the fat and all that stuff, just, just, I'm just telling you, all right? You might want to consider going back to the real bacon. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we are Did you get on a bacon soapbox? What's that? Yeah, he well, got on his bacon soapbox. You know, come on, the bacon. But look at this lean chicken look breast. That. You can see how tasty that's going to be because it's going to have my char grill marks, my char grill flavor without the char grill pain in the neck, right? Ooh, so it's any season, too. summer, spring, winter, fall, whether you're in Florida, Montana, Minnesota, New Mexico, California, you that. can be cooking this indoors year round because I can veggies. activate that fan, which eliminates my smoke. It's, it's absolutely a brilliant or odor design. odor, too. We are extremely busy right now. As I said, this is our feature price, so we dropped our price by $10. And we're gonna give you free shipping, and I will tell you, there is no such thing as free shipping. Somebody has to pay. In this case, we do. Are so you that's paying for that for guy? You. Huh? You're picking it up? Yeah, I'm gonna drive Pick it to your house. He's picking up the shipping today. That's right, I'll that's pick what up I heard. the shipping today. Um, but get it home and enjoy it. And I tell you, you know, a lot of people are like, well, it's, it's summertime, huh? We'll barbecue outside. Let me tell you how hot it gets here in Florida in the middle of summer. It's already getting hot. Look at the fan. When it's 95 degrees and full of humidity, the last place I want to be is outside grilling. Um, hey, and a nice 78 day, degree day, okay, maybe I'll do that. And I'm not saying throw away your barbecue grill. What I'm saying is sometimes I want to have a hamburger and I don't feel like going out and putting charcoal in a grill. Sure. Or the kids are hungry and they don't want to wait 40 minutes for the coals to turn. They want to eat now. 
or they want a grilled cheese. One wants a burger, one wants grilled cheese. Yep. Isn't it nice to be able to do both on the same Machine. machine and all you do is switch out the plates and what you saw me doing was activating the fan turning it on and off when i turn it off you can see the smoke right this is your brussels sprout odor this is your bacon odor this is your salmon and your catfish odor this is your fried yeah. chicken odor whatever the odors are you don't want in your home Watch. all you have to do is activate that fan and i call it our smoke vacuum it's 1500 watts of power that sits in the back and it literally pulls it away eliminating awesome. the smoke do it again so if you've awesome. ever hated so the fans off. Uh, the, yeah so the fan is currently so, off get the stuff get so the it's smoke hot. In. All right, so watch. Now you see, you see smoke the white trailing smoke. off. Watch it disappear in front of my apron. Watch. How cool is this? Look. It literally what? dissipates. That is really, really So there's cool. a little water reservoir on the bottom. You want to keep it full. That helps to dissipate the smoke, but it's that fan. I call it our smoke vacuum or our smoke extractor, whatever you want to call it. It literally pulls the smoke right out of the air. That's not just smoke that's bothering you. It's the odors, right? Yeah. Which if you don't like to cook bacon in the home, you'll be cooking bacon in your home again or your Brussels sprouts or whatever it is with those odors, fish, salmon, those types yeah. of things that you don't want lingering. Sunday night, they smell amazing, but by Monday morning, you don't want them lingering. You know what I love about the machine, too, is that you'll cook things that you never thought you would normally cook or buy at a supermarket because you didn't feel like dealing with it. And, yep. and I'm talking about things like corn on the cob, which, by the way, is wonderful on top of this machine because it, it, the, the sugar that's in the corn caramelizes. The and it just makes an incredible, incredible flavor. It's the same with a lot of uh, veggies out there that have inherent sugars, but they really need to be cooked and, and kind of grilled for those sugars to kind of caramelize. It's the same if you, even if you do things like broccoli or cauliflower. Oh cauliflower, yeah, amazing on a If grill. you toss cauliflower in a little olive oil and salt and pepper, Use our yes. salt and pepper mills or even use those oils if we still carry those, um, the yeah, flavored oils. Yeah, we have those oils. on .com, yep. We have them on .com. And, and put that on here and roast it. It's you delicious. You will not miss, I will tell you this, if you're, you, you can see why vegetarians become vegetarians because you're not going to miss You're not going to miss that, this when you get that charcoal great flavor. flavor. Yeah, and it's, it's right so there. true. And you get the grill marks, you're getting the grill plate and the griddle plate if you're just joining us. Maybe you've seen the infomercial out there. The difference between theirs is the price point. Theirs is about 120 bucks. Yeah. Uh, it's a 1200 watts. Ours is 1500 watts. More and ours powerful. comes, yeah, ours is more powerful. That's important for that fan. But ours comes with the grill plate and the griddle plate. So I think that that's really important. And you can see their dishwasher safe, but look at how easily they wipe Which clean. Which one are we going to do, salmon? So we're actually going to pop salmon in here. Oh my gosh. But, and you can see I don't have to spritz this or spray this no. with any sort of nonstick. Salmon's stick. got fat on it anyway. You don't need to add a whole bunch so of So here's the cool part. Remember when I talked about that water? A reservoir which lives in the bottom you can actually flavor that so if you wanted to take and this is you know you would put this underneath oh, a little liquid smoke a little liquid smoke maybe some dill maybe some garlic lemon. you could do a little lemon and that's when you would actually keep the fan in the off position Sweet. to create that steam i would add my lid and that garlic with that liquid smoke would actually create that convection yeah. effect inside my grill so you can use the fan or not. I almost always use my fan, except when I'm doing something like fish and I wanna have that circulation. Well, it's ideal. And, and by the way, the capacity is great too. We're doing a big meal here. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Throwing Kelly asparagus. Winged an asparagus <laughs> spear. Um, we are doing uh, two giant pieces of salmon. And this could actually feed more than two people. For sure. We've grilled, uh, done some mushroom kebabs and we're doing Asparagus. Now I want you to look at that delicious, healthy meal, and don't tell me that dieting is hard. It's, I mean, look how healthy that is. Because we are eating healthy. It's about portion control, and it's about not having to have something sitting in fat and sitting in grease. And by the way, when you do that collectively over a year's time, you'd be amazed at how many calories you save. Calories right? you're saving, your waistline looks better, you have more energy. Oh yeah. All of those things about eating healthier. When you can grill any day of the year, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when you can do it at any point during the day, you are going to absolutely love being able to get the char grill flavor, those delicious flavors we crave, but we don't want to do it on a Wednesday night. Or maybe a Tuesday morning you can do it. All right, here's the smoke demo one more time because I want to show you the instant I turn that fan on and there's my apron, you can, no, no more smoke. It starts getting pulled back into that fan. So that's the odors you don't want lingering in your home. Let me turn that fan off again. Look at that. Okay, there it is. One more time. Bye-bye smoke. 
It literally dissipates right through that fan in the back, 1500 watts, and you can see it sits the whole length of the grill. If you've ever been dismayed by yes. an indoor grill in the past, I don't blame you. They aren't all smokeless as they claim to be. This one truly will eliminate that smoke. Look at these grilled cheese. So the I grilled love cheese, what you did here. and then you can do your soup or any pot. Think about your candy. If you're making candies, you have exact temperature control. So you know exactly what temperature you've got your grill at. You don't have that on your stove top. And look at how perfectly browned these sandwiches are, these grilled cheese sandwiches. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine this in an yeah. RV? Oh my gosh, Or maybe yeah. your mobile home, or maybe your trailer college. that you travel with oh, for college. <laughs> are you gonna send this to Danny? This. In college, I would've killed Oh my gosh, look at me? these grilled cheese on the griddle. You're getting both the grill plate and the griddle plate. All right, so we are just about out of time. If you'd like to get this, remember it is on FlexPay. It's our feature price today. You're gonna love this all spring time summertime and when the snow comes you can still grill yeah. anytime Good thank point. you miss kelly all right i'll save you some food yeah save me some feed we'll be some right bacon. back stick around we got more coming your way Are you ready? shop like a vip with the hsn credit card apply now and instantly get ten dollars off when you're approved as an hsn card member you'll get all kinds of perks like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. The thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now. And make monthly payments. Without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom. A fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding. And a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now. Without the stress of having to pay for it all at once. And no interest. Beat that layaway.